Hey guys, good morning. I hope you are all doing well. September looks so different this year, doesn't it? I feel like none of us could have prepared ourselves for what this year has brought us, but, and yet here we are just making our way through all of it one day at a time. We are now on our second week of school. I actually just dropped the boys off. Um, and Eva is with me back here. You can't really see her, but I have her with me. I know that everyone's school situation is going to look very different this year. For our family, we had actually decided not to send our kids back to public school. That was our personal decision and the best fit for us. Our kids are actually being homeschooled by a very good friend of our family uh, who is a teacher and so she's homeschooling them out of her home and so we do have a bit of a drive every day. I need to commute about 30 minutes or so to her house and back <laughs> twice a day so we've been getting used to that to the drive and just adjusting to that new routine but so far it's been going great the kids have been loving it and just having great days and they seem very happy and of course that makes us very happy knowing that they're doing well so eva's preschool unfortunately is not open um for this school season which in a way is a blessing because i feel like it would have been harder to try to decide whether or not we were sending her or not so the fact that it's closed kind of just made that decision for us we had gone back and forth about should we try to find another preschool for her should we not and we just decided to keep her home this year it does make me a little bit sad that she won't be able to have that experience like she did last year i don't know not having the time with other children and just that routine and like getting used to being away from me <laughs> for us being apart from each other but i really want to try my very best at home with her to um create a routine and like a school like structure for her at home different activities arts and crafts different school related things <laughs> i don't really know what my plan is yet but i i should have been on that already actually but we've just been adjusting to these first few weeks getting the boys settled in school and all of that but i want to make sure that i'm working on her speech that we're doing arts and crafts and um that maybe i can research a few different things to do with her i might even email her um, preschool teachers and ask them if they have any ideas for me of things that I can do with her at home and then just getting her out to some parks and outdoor stuff as much as possible keeping her busy and so I'm sure that it will still be a great year we just um, have to try to stay positive and stay busy but yeah I just wanted to check in with all of you and if you want to leave me a comment and let me know what your plan is for school this year if you have little ones what are you planning to do did you always homeschool your kids are you sending them to public school this year are you doing the virtual learning at home I would love to connect with you and know what you guys are up to and if anybody has any tips for me teaching a three-year-old from home uh, that would be wonderful so send your suggestions my way just comment and let me know if you have any ideas I would love to hear from you so yeah we're just gonna continue on here and head home Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, just thought that I would get some stuff prepped for dinner. I discovered this um, Greek chicken marinade online. I found a recipe online for it. You guys, it is so delicious. I have been making this at least once a week. Ben loves it, the kids love it. And I had my parents over um, a few times too and also made this recipe and they loved it as well. So super easy for like a weeknight meal and you literally just throw everything in, marinate this for a couple hours and then you can throw these on the grill. You, I'm sure you could also cook them in the pan. Um, but we've just been grilling them and loving it. So all you do for the marinade is you just add two tablespoons of plain yogurt, not Greek yogurt, just plain regular yogurt, two cloves of crushed garlic, one and a half teaspoons of oregano, one teaspoon of basil, uh, one teaspoon of lemon juice, lemon zest, a tablespoon of olive oil, and salt and pepper, and that's it. So you just mix that all up. And then you just pour it over your chicken like so. So I just pour it on like that and then I just take a fork and kind of flip the chicken to make sure it's all coated evenly. This is what it should look like when the chicken is all coated. I know it doesn't look like a lot of marinade but it's totally fine for this amount of chicken. I actually took four chicken breasts and sliced them in half and um, this is always more than enough for us. And I'll probably end up making some potatoes with this and some vegetables as a side. But I'm just gonna cover this with plastic wrap and put it in the fridge um, and let it marinate for a few hours until it's time for dinner.